She really not hit to the show. She said, I ain't never seen this shit. That's what I said. Well, I don't know why you don't believe that they come on HBO. I'm telling you. This bitch come on HBO and Fox. <laughs> you can't watch it without your socks. Cause you gonna be sliding on the floor when you like the 85 sub show. Hey. Can't watch it without your socks. <laughs> if you got some flip flops. Oh. But don't song. be shitting on the floor when I get home. What? But don't be shitting on the floor when I get home. <laughs> That's how you live? But don't be shitting on the floor when I get home. Man. Who wanna buy this motherfucker? I'm talking about for nine thousand, you can get them done. Damn. To the expensive dog. Exotic, exotic, exotic. <laughs> <laughs> you did. Exotic, exotic. He's exotic. <laughs> you gotta take some thousands off because he. Be shitting on the floor when they get shit in the house. What'd you say? You gotta take some money off because he's shit in the house. Let's not play with my musical talents, man. That's it, huh? That's it, huh? Alright, we gotta put that on the song right there. But I'll be shitting on the floor when I get home. <laughs> she been breaking my hat to show me to take a call. <laughs> That lady tired of here. She tired of waiting on you. She said she would have been in bed two hours ago. They gonna be looking at this. They gonna be like, damn, she still bringing me up two episodes in. Uh, <laughs> how you living? How's everybody feeling right now? Everybody good? Feeling great. Yes, we living. We breathing. That's all we doing. My dog be shitting on the floor when I get home. That's how you gonna do? My dog be shitting on the floor when I get home. <laughs> Anybody dog be shitting. <laughs> you know what the song gotta be called? <laughs> what? Responsibilities. <laughs> Anybody dog be shitting. <laughs> You just got your carpet clean. Oh, he is missing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, that's how niggas don't understand, man. The music, it ain't, it ain't, you don't need all them 808s and all that extra shit. You just need a little, a nigga who know what he doing with a good job. Let me show you what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> then you come up with some shit like this. And then you come up with some shit like this. My dog is shitting on the floor when I get home. Uh, that's all you need. That's all you need. Need some dancing music, man. You, they be playing staring music in the club now. Fuck these niggas. You be like, yeah, fuck these niggas, man. <laughs> I don't want to do shit, but look at everybody, look at me. <laughs> fuck you looking at, nigga. <laughs> everybody be there talking to their eyes. What, what, nigga? Hey, you wanna do? What you wanna do? <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> you play this shit, you ain't gonna be doing nothing. You be like, you like this shit too, though. You like this shit too, yeah. This motherfucker high here. I wonder if those questions ever went too far. Like, nigga, like, what the fuck you looking at? What were we looking at? Huh? What did you just say? I'm just saying. I thought you saw something. No, did somebody say something or something? <laughs> what the fuck are we. I remember one time I had something in my eye, and I was looking this way, and I was like, but in my head, I'm like, damn, what did eyelash in my eye? Nigga was like, fuck you looking at? I'm like, I look up, that nigga walking to me, who the fuck you was looking at? Why like, the fuck wrong with this nigga, man? <laughs> I'm standing trying to get the shit out of my eye. I'm like, hey, man, why is this nigga walking over here, man? That nigga, he tripped. <laughs> That's how people get down, though. Hey man, welcome back to the 85 South Show. Hey man, we just chilling in this bit right now. Man. We got an icon in this motherfucker, man. Man, that's why I really was just sitting here chilling, cause shit I always just wanted to just be hanging with Mr. Cooper. Hanging with Mr. Cooper. You know what? <laughs> hey man, we got much. Yeah, very up in here. Oh, it's me, man. No. Hey man, first of all. You, you one of those guys, man. You a legend of us, man. Oh, thank because you, Because we was we we grew up watching. Most you, you, you had a dope ass show at the height of black TV, man. Yes, sir. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on. Appreciate that. Like, 
Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Sitcoms, man. Thank Bruh, you. you was out there really wrecking them stages, but then you was really like going to work and doing the whole, you know what I'm saying? The whole character and shit. People really thought that was you and shit. Yeah, they really did. Well, first of all, it's a pleasure to be with you two. Oh, look, man, thank you. you. Appreciate you. They fire right here. Yeah, Working with these it. two is like Red Bull and, and <laughs> I don't, I don't, you guys are fire. I just wanted to say that. Working with you guys, you know, I've been in the game a long time. There ain't too many guys come up with, you know, with this fire. Right. You, know, you guys are fire. Appreciate that, man. Anyway, just wanted to let you know that. And you guys got some good snacks. <laughs> <laughs> Everything they gave me was unhealthy. Yeah. I had so much, th I'm ready to go. I had corn puffs, corn cacos. Yeah. Love it. That's good. That's how we're living over here, like man. That. You could always judge a place by the snacks. Right, right. Yeah, in the abundance of. I like how they brought the snacks out in the box. Just yeah, like it was a bag. big reveal. Number of plain Fritos. Yeah, I'm like, nigga, did you get this from a nursing home? Nigga? <laughs> plain like, Frito, this shit is stank. That's the black it's production. Stank. All the good shit was gone yeah. first. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> nigga got cheeses. This is an after school program. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> man, I, I got a million and one questions, man, but it's I'm like. Shit. How. How did first of all tell me how do you came about like getting your your whole show? How did you get the process started? Where you start comedy at? Like who you start with? All that shit. Um, I always was a funny guy. And getting the show, I did. Um, how did I get the show? I can't remember now. Um, <laughs> did I do an HBO special first. I think I did an HBO special. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did an HBO special. I was on tour with, um, HBO saw me, and so they gave me HBO special. I did my special. Once I did that special, me and Martin did our specials together. Mm. Uh, yeah, mm. we went back and forth in Chicago. I, I headlined one, then he headlined one. And uh, so we did our special. So once I did that special, it let the world, I guess the Hollywood see who I was. Mm -hmm. And um, so I had, uh, I had, they offered me a sitcom. Mm -hmm. I had a living color. Mm -hmm. I could have did a living color. I had a contract with living color, hanging Mr. Cooper, and I, I, would, I, I already was hosting Showtime at the Apollo. Hell yeah. Right, right, right at the time. At the height of this shit, at the too. Height. Mm -hmm. We were the first ones to take the cameras, Showtime, take the cameras outside in Harlem. Mm -hmm. I said, because the people were standing in line, I said, man, let's take them cameras outside. And, you know, anyway, at that time, so they offered me the sitcom. And, um, you know, I said, yeah, let's, let's do this. Let's, you know, I didn't really even know what I was doing. So we did our sitcom on the set of um, Alan Thicke's show, Growing Pains. Right. They really didn't, they didn't, they didn't believe him. I didn't even have on my own set. Yeah. Just, give him, just give him that set right there. <laughs> Put him that set, yeah. You know, really, they didn't even change the people's picture. <laughs> James Strong, if you look at the first Mr. Cooper episode, Alan Dick family is in the back. That's yeah, true. damn. Somebody no. gonna get on Hulu and be like, he yeah. lying? Oh, no, I ain't lying. Game, game real. Not my game always real. And if that's the only pilot, it, that's, that, it was the pilot, so you just shot a pilot. You just come in and just shoot the pilot, give him the script, let's see what this does here. We're not gonna build nothing. I even wore my own clothes. Yeah, but six foot six dude. I was, could you bring? Could you bring a couple of pieces, a couple of changes? So I wore my own clothes. <laughs> right. To the big, first Mr. Cooper. Damn. My own clothes. No so you said they offered you two shows, so Mr. Cooper was written up and 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 Living Color was already going on. Yeah, yeah, Living Color was already going on. Right. And, um, boy, HBO came with a sweet ass deal. Yes, boy. they did. What? With some shit like that on the table. Now look, you got to pick right. one. Right. Living color or some. But but the, and, well, that the Cooper was, was that was ABC. That was ABC TV and Fox TV, and that was and uh, it was all different networks. Man. But Mr. Cooper wasn't a show then until you got on it. Though. What you mean? It wasn't a show until you got on it. Like you you started the whole oh, Mr. Cooper. Yeah. yeah. Right. It was my show. Right. Yeah. Oh, so it was either Living Color or your own shit? No, well, I could have done... I was on tour with Damon Wayans. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. Yeah, he, was, he, was, he was a master, you know, one of the best I've seen. Salute to OG, too. Yeah, man. he's a super OG. And 
And I, we did a show at um, uh, the Apollo. And HBO was there, all the big people was there. Eddie Murphy was there, everybody was, everybody was there. Mm -hmm. And they all saw me. So I, they were like, who is this dude? And, you know, I remember I went home the next, two days later, they called me and gave me an HBO special, which at the time I was like, what? Right, right. And then they Shit. offered me, then ABC, we took meetings, you know, we took meetings to, to go, you know, you know, what you talking about? What you talking about? What you talking about? And so this, this came about ABC. And, yeah. That's hard. They ain't doing it like that no more. That's, yeah, that's some sweet it. ass lick yeah. right there. It just lets you know, you know, and that pilot went to air. That was the only pilot that went to air. It was a pilot. Yeah. Mm. That shit went straight down. It went to air. It wasn't, if you look, it wasn't even my set. It was a different set. Yeah. Mm, I gotta go look that shit up. Yeah, you got to watch Raven Simone grow up on this show. Mm. How many seasons did y'all do? Yeah, we did five. Syndication, reminder. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Talk your shit! <laughs> you stupid. You crazy. I'm still got it. Hey, boy, that take your shit. No. <laughs> Damn, y'all did five seasons? Five seasons. Five seasons. And, and it, was a, it was an incredible time, long time. But, you know, but then I saw shows get canceled. Mm -hmm. That made me like, you know, hey, you know, because... I think they canceled Blossom or something. In the fourth season. She had one more season to go. And so they was, you know, so you had, you know, you had to, we had fun though. I had the greatest time of my life. Right. It made me an international star. Yeah. International. I remember I was in Africa and I had to, I got out the car, I was taking the leak, and I was like, Mr. Kupa! I look up, well, Mr. Kupa, we know you. <laughs> And so, you know, no matter, you know, it meant, that was incredible to travel. And I traveled, you know, around the world. And that was the greatest thing. I think it enlightened me. And that's what you guys should do. You gotta travel everywhere. Mm -hmm. Change your comedy, different perspective on everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, you gotta, gotta travel. So, what was your, what, who, who like motivated you? Like, how you knew, like, stand up comedy was your calling? Uh, you know, um, Richard Pryor. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I had a chance to open up for Richard Pryor. 1993. Ooh, shit. Reminder, uh, uh -huh. this, uh, <laughs> you know, and, and, you know, and I had a chance to talk to Richard Pryor. He, to me, is the greatest of the greatest of the greatest for right. me. And um, and I still listen to his albums right now, you know. So I got a chance to open up for him. And he was my influence, mm -hmm. all, you know. And I knew what I wanted to do, but I never, I was scared to do it. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I was scared to do it, you know, boy working and paying, say, that's why if you got dreams, do them, because that, here I am 20 years, 10, you know, 20, 15 years, I could have did comedy, but I was scared to do it. Damn. You know, I was scared, I was scared, but at that time it wasn't a job. Like, you want to do comedy, boy, you want to do comedy, it don't, it don't make no sense. Right. But you want to do comedy, come on, we're going to do, we're going to do comedy. Right. Come on, you better get your real job. Right. And so I never really pursued it, so. If anybody out there got dreams, you know, don't have those deferred dreams. Do it. Go for it. Yeah, you man. Know? That's that's a dope ass message right there. Yeah, yeah. Just go for it. Just do it. Just think, you know. Look at her braiding that hair. She may not have had that dream. Right. She going for it. Yeah, she going for it. I can tell. Yeah, I can hear it. Out. You can tell that hair dry. I can hear it over there popping. <laughs> It is right now. <laughs> Put a little grease. You ain't been no grease on that boy's head. What's up on there? I can hear it popping. Man, let my dog make it, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga been wearing braids ever since he got an ancestry test. <laughs> and they got them results back on, like, I know what they want. Exactly. I know exactly what my ancestors want. I, I feel like the beginning of a movie. I know mm. what my ancestors want. I know exactly I know what they, they want. want. <laughs> 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 I'm bumble clad mm -hmm. Rastafarian. Mm -hmm. I found out on Jamaica. Mm -hmm. See, I ain't, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a Jamaican. DC Young Fly in a brand new movie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, you look Jamaican. Bumble Clyde Rastafari, eh? Miss me with the factory. I can see you. Never call me, me ignore him. That's all I know I've been practicing, though. I like that. <laughs> I like it. I'm trying like to that. get a full sentence. That's a good I'm job. trying to get a full yeah. sentence. Look, you're trying to get me. <laughs> <laughs> 
Miss me with factory, give me a call, me make no them. Oh, where's the? That's it. That's all I got. That's good. That's good enough, though. Yeah, that's it. But you gotta really, you know, say it loud and mean. Your puppet can't get him. Mumu clap. It's like clap. Yeah. You see the clap part? They like, oh yeah, he really. You say you really did man. some traveling. Mumu clap. They like, yeah, that's it. He really. Man. What's some of your favorite places that you've traveled to? You know, um, everywhere. All of them. Uh, everywhere Africa, you ever went. I mean, uh, uh, Africa. I really liked Africa. Yeah, I gotta go to Africa. You, you gotta go to Africa. Young Buck, you gotta go. And Africa, I think Africa was the greatest, you know, because I saw, for one, I saw the animals up close, because I paid. Oh, shit. Yeah, I mean, I saw them up close, up close. I said to the dude, I said, look, man, don't have me sitting out here, go, you know, dry down like everybody else. We're the real animals. I gave him some money. You remember, the currency is very, the rand is seven to one, so you give somebody some $100 bill, that's, you know. I gave him a $100 bill. I said, man, show me what the real animals is. He said, oh, Come back later on tonight, you know, come back and I'll show you which way. As they said, go down this road. And I went down that road, man, a lion walked by. That lion was bigger than the car I was in. Damn. And I was scared to film. I was like, whoa! It was, you know, it was, you know. You paid for that. Yeah, I paid for that. I'm telling you, he told you too. Take your ass down there, nigga. Exactly. That's where you want to go. I'm, I'm going to yeah. tell him to bye-bye. He's down there. Yeah. I saw so you him. went yeah. back and he, he took that, you or somebody no, else? No, you know, I, I was driving. I learned how to drive. Left-hand drive. I learned how to drive. I'm gathered. That's at Oakland and me. But I had a drive. Right. I said, man, come on, let me drive this. You know, so I was just, whoa, whoa, you know. Yeah. You, you just can't turn that left. You got to uh. just, yeah, yeah, you know. So, <laughs> you know, they drive like that. So but Africa was beautiful. Australia. I went, um. Uh, diving in the Great Barrier Reef. Damn. You know, because my childhood guy I used to watch was Jacques Cousteau when I was a kid. So I, I wanted to do all the things. It was Great Barrier Reef. So I went, you know, underneath the Great Barrier Reef and skydiving. I mean, underwater diving. I think about it now. I wouldn't do it right now. Right. Yeah, because you're fucking killing it. Yeah. I'm telling you. I wouldn't do it. Save the planet. Yeah, save the planet, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just fucking with you. But for real, save the no. planet. You know, you know, it's a classic moment for, for me, for you though, <laughs> is when you played that that, that lieutenant <clears throat> on, on on what it was, the Jamie Foxx show. Jamie Foxx show. Man. Yes. Man. Killed that shit. That was that was um, one take, you guys. One take. Listen up, OG. Yeah, one take. One take. One take, baby. That whole scene was one take. No, your shit. No, your shit. What? Yes. Damn. Because. You can't, de you know, some of that stuff, to me, you can't do it. You right. can come in, how many times you gonna come in and knock all this stuff over? Right. So you try to do it good <laughs> the first time. Right, right. So, with, you know, well, Jamie Foxx show, right? Uh-huh. Well, Jamie was such a, a great, you know, that I could throw lobs to. So I knew him, and I knew my character. My character, I listened to, I watched Full Metal Jacket, an officer and a gentleman for a week every day to prepare for that role. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. I was really that person. When I went on the lot, I was that person. Uh -huh. it, these are stories I've never told. Tell them, tell them. I remember the table read, uh -huh. right? We was at the table read, the Jamie Foxx show, and Braxton, the young, you know, I think I said his name wrong. In real life, I didn't, he said, no, my name, I said, Boom, I don't care what name you're in. <laughs> and Jamie just went, he, you know, he hit the he hit the glass and broke the glass and ran out and just laughed. Right. Because I was in I was in full character. Uh-huh. Because you know, bam. So when we did it, I was in character the whole time. I was on his ass. What the hell's wrong with you, boy? You're nothing to me. Look at you. So I, yeah, I was, and I knew that whatever I said to him, act like Prince and he can do it. So uh -huh. all that's ad lib. Damn. But he can do it, you know. I, you know, it was about him. You know, so, and then I just, I, my thing was, if I would have failed, no matter what happened, you, you add it and you keep going. As long as you know the script. Right. The, you know, the, the script. I knew the script in and out. So, man, <laughs> well, anyway, I still, you know, you, so right. instead of, you know, faltering and not knowing your lines. Right. You no improv. matter what happened, I knew the Jamie, I knew where the cameras were, you know, and just, you know, we did it. Well, even when we pulled back, when I pulled back, the eyeball me ball. Uh huh. Uh huh. I knew Jamie was there. And I knew Jamie would do something. I mean, that was a classic moment when he did his eyes. You know. So it's about knowing, knowing who the other guy is. You know, not throwing, not being, 
scared not to take all the laughs, but throw your boy lobs too. You know, right. you know just a good moment. But that was a one take. One take. Yeah, yeah. One take, boy. And the important thing about it, it was the first time that my father saw me perform. Ooh, yeah. that was good. Yeah. That's, that's that's, this is his watch right here. We're wearing Pop's watch. So the first time Pop saw me perform was at the Jamie Foxx show. Boy, you was good. You was good. That was good. <laughs> yeah, that, was, that, 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 was, that was a funny stuff. That was pretty good. That was a funny stuff. Yeah, yeah that was the first time my father <laughs> ever had an espresso. Mm. It, it was his birthday. Mm. That show was his birthday. His present to the world. That was my father's birthday. And that's what I gave, you know, to the world, to him. And that was the first time later on we went out with Jamie Foxx for his birthday. You, you know, before Jamie Foxx was even big Jamie Foxx, we were just hanging out. My father had espresso. I remember that, was, I, that, that coffee kept me up all night. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that was. That, 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 that was some powerful stuff. I stayed up, I was in the backyard. He thought I was in the backyard. So that was that was it. Yeah. And that love, OG. Yeah, that's that love. Fuck with it. Man, so you, you guys been... selling these clothes or what's going on here? Yeah, yeah, they we got them. all this money. They selling clothes in the back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, what niggas gonna have a business and they ain't selling I know, clothes? I love in? It. It's good merchandise, OG. They got merchandise. I love it. There's so many people out there who want to have, you know, yes. warm fabrics on their body. Marvin Gaye don't want this shit too, OG. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah, look, he got on our first one. <laughs> He's like, them niggas ain't never gave me no money, man. Yeah, yeah all <laughs> of this is for spot. sale. Everything on this rack, man. We just got this new line that for the for ladies. The women. Like hey, that. we yeah. got some ladies too. We got some half um, tops so they can show their belly button yeah. golf. I like that. I like when and if they don't they have their belly button, they can just pull these all the way up. Uh, yeah. I like it just be show, a little mid Show your belly button. It's like a mid section. You got some saggy like tits. That. I don't want to see them. No. That's why this cut in half, because if they real long, she could just flip them off the bottom. Mm -hmm. right. <laughs> yeah, just flip them off the bottom. Use the accents. Unique piece. We thinking about our niggas, man. <laughs> Unique piece. Right, bro. We, we getting it in over here, man. I love it. I think it's incredible. Thank you for having me on. I'm like, yeah. Man, we appreciate you I like that they start, they start at 4 in the morning, people. <laughs> I said, we was out here like it was a strip club. <laughs> I was like, I was we ain't like, like, let nobody in yeah, yet, bro. Yeah, ain't nothing. You said they started at 4 o'clock in the morning, people. I won't drop. Yeah, the girls, be ain't, around the nine, girls ain't even here yet. Dude, check. Be around 9, 930. <laughs> OK? I started, I was lottering around so much, I felt like a thief. What you steal? I bought at somebody. Whoever that little, that little Seville, I just went in and looked around. Was it anything in there? Just practice. You know, just practice. See if I can still pop that. You know. Was anything in there? It was in something. He had something in his gloves department. A little half an eighth. A little knife. A little knife. A little knife. Yeah, a little knife. That nigga found the knife. <laughs> what part of Oakland you from? East Side, Oakland, baby. Talk your shit. Yep, East Side Oakland. You know we represent town, town business, but we, you know, that's that's the hood from that, that I that I was born in, mm -hmm. and that's the hood that gave me my, you know, life. Back then we didn't have the internet; we had imagination. So, so that's where I came mm -hmm. from. So I'm a hood boy, and just happened to make it on television. Mm -hmm. You know, and just you know. The internet came out somebody's imagination. Yeah, well, the internet. We didn't have it. We didn't have the internet. We had imagination. That was our internet, you know. Because mm -hmm. our toys didn't have no batteries, so you know. So <laughs> <laughs> you guys had the internet. Right. We didn't have the internet. We, we could get up, get up on the roof. What you could see was the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Your memory wasn't the internet. Yeah, right. Exactly. But yeah, so I'm from East Oakland. So it gave me my. It gave me. I use East Oakland as my, you know, stopping ground. Yeah, they, they were really nice to me. I started in the '80s, in the '80s, you know, and so, you know, and they were really nice. You to started me. in the '80s? Yeah, I started in '87. I think '82. Too short told me '82. But I did, a, I did a show, and I said, I remember that show. I was on that show, and Too Short. I was talking to him. He said that was '80s, and that was 1982. Damn. So either I started. When did you start? You don't know? I think it was '87. It's 87. But maybe it's the first 82. time trying it with 82. But it might have been yeah, I don't 82. Know, I, don't remember. I don't know if I went to the show or I was on the show, but I remember the dude didn't pay me. In 82? So, so that's why you don't count it, because you ain't get yeah. no money. Yeah. yeah. I, didn't, I didn't get paid in my career for a long time. I, 
I didn't get, I worked at a pan, I worked at a drugstore to keep, you know, my clothes right, to keep, you know, a car, because most comedians were poor, you know, right, right. just making it, dude, I'm just trying to rough. make it. I, I had money, and I had the ability to turn down things, you know what I'm saying? Mm, no, fuck I don't that shit. That. Yeah, fuck that, you know? <laughs> really, it always was dress nice. I had one green suit when I hit LA, one green suit I bought at one of the stores with $99 where you get the suit, I think, and a shirt, and another blazer or something. That shit couldn't have been fresh. I'm not all for a hundred dollars. But I had that green baby press. I guess they want to say that. I'm like, Ross, nigga, you went wrong. They they got me Mr. Cooper. That green got me Mr. Cooper. Talk your shit. Remind me. Talk your shit. (laughs) Talk your shit. Once you adjust the cost of inflation, that suit still was about $96. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> you ain't got no rain, I ain't got shit on. Niggas can't steal nothing. <laughs> Nigga bought the whole suit. With shoes and everything. Suit, man. I wear you you get the pants, the jacket, the shirt, the shoes, the socks. A time. belt be already yeah. in the belt. <laughs> it might, might have had a belt. It might have had a belt. You know, yeah, that nigga had had was suspended back then, boy. What? But that's back yeah, to the day. That on. I'm just waiting on them to say. Now, if you go back and you watch them open the credit, when I did like this, that's the suit. Right, right. Hilarious. Hilarious. Hell First no. First time I went up, improv. Mm, LA. Okay. Talk your shit. Lil Richard was the host. Lil Richard? Lil Richard. Man, was the come host. on, bro. I wouldn't lie Tell to you. Tell me what happened, man. But this game is, my game is strong. Tell me what happened, man. I go up and he's announcing people. He's like, you know, ladies and gentlemen, Let's give it up for this young comedian. <laughs> and let's give it up for Mark Carey. <laughs> Listen, I, I step out of here, he said, I thought you was white. <laughs> oh! That's what Lil Richard uh, like, Look it up. He said, I thought you was in the middle of walking. I thought you was white. Oh, okay, I'm black. What's <laughs> up? First time. First time in LA. That is hilarious, <laughs> man. Hell no. Nah. You, you imagine you about to go up and you look up and Lil Richard is hosting the. the, the he was the host. Going crazy. And he thought, in the middle, he thought I was white. But when you went up, how was that first time, like going up breaking the ice? Oh, first time going up on what stage? The, the, with, with Lil Richard, the one who, when he brought oh, no, up. No, he was just a, it was just a show. Right, right, right. So I went up and I did a good job. I had a good, good time. Not a good job. First time I ever went to a comedy store, Eddie Murphy put me out because we weren't allowed to, to get on. Mm. Why? Because I don't know. Right. You know, there wasn't too many brothers on at the comedy store. It was like that was the, like the mecca. Right, like, right. Ain't right. nobody, I, you know. And um, Eddie Murphy saw me. What do you mean go on? We got Gary Schnuckles back <laughs> there. <laughs> you right. He's right. He's telling the truth. He's telling the truth. Fucking Gary Schnuckles is in town. Guys, he's telling the truth. It'd be people like that. Louis Kabowski. Yeah. He's right. He's telling the truth. (laughs) And Eddie Murphy was the one. He did like this. He said, "You going up?" I said, "Man, I can't get up in here, brother." He does that. That's what. This is a true story. He said, "Come here." He said, "This white dude walked up to me. Said, you going up next?'" Like what? True story. We never killed no folk. Yeah, first time. Went stupid. Shout out to Eddie for that, man. Man, he real. Man, he been a real one. Always a veteran. I got stories on Eddie, but Eddie didn't, took me to his house. I don't want to blow his stuff up. But he let me, that night, Eddie let me come to his, it's a true story. Eddie, 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 Eddie let me come to his house. Eddie took me for the first time in my life. I ain't, I ain't never told these stories. I never tell my business because, you know, I just don't tell my business. Right. And so that night, I don't even know if Eddie remember this. He took me, he said, man, you want to go eat? I'm like, what? He was Eddie Murphy. I was like, damn. <laughs> what? I remember I was driving a Dodge Raider. I didn't have no money. I was like, yeah, man. And he went, took, took me for sushi. He had, he had more people who ate sushi. And I'm a ghetto boy from Oakland. Right. I had just drove from Oakland from working at Pan and say, that day. I got off at 3 o'clock that day. I drove down from Oakland. You know, got off work, by, got in my Dodge Raider, boom, jam some EPMD, some Too Short, go down and and to the comedy store to perform. I mean, just just to go to L.A. to perform. Right. You know, that's when you were bouncing the places. So here I am tired, 
eating sushi. I didn't know what sushi, I never heard of it. Right. I didn't know what the fuck it was. I didn't know it was raw fish. I like, I didn't even, the kind of, what the fuck was this? <laughs> what these motherfuckers eating? <laughs> I didn't know what it was. And so that was my first time ever <laughs> encountering sushi. And he took me to his pad. That was an experience that was incredible. Crazy. Was in, his, the pad was incredible. I eat sushi all the time. I, I, I didn't like it. I didn't know what it was. Imagine a boy from Oakland. And you eating some raw fish. Yeah, we eat raw fish all day. No. Yeah, I ain't talking about sushi. <laughs> <laughs> talking about that coochie. <laughs> that why it's Max. Sushi coochie. Who the fuck said it is? Nah, fuck that. I ain't, sushi, I can't eat that shit. You, know, you can eat something, he can get inside the book. No one trying to tell you. <laughs> I mean, well, we it. have him. His legs are sticking out. We got him down here. Come on in, guys. The, the woman is smiling. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. Nah, Eddie Murphy, man. man. Eddie Murphy. That's a real yeah, nigga. He did, a, he did a lot. I mean, he was, he was just great. Took me to his pad, and that was motivation enough. His pad was the coldest pad in the history of pads. For real? I ain't lying. Eddie Murphy, been I'm going to tell it, Eddie. I'm sorry. I walked in, but me had every kind of car that you can imagine. And I'm a car guy, and uh -huh. I'm a ghetto boy, so you know I'm looking at cars. I'm like, damn! He had every one. Boom da boom da boom. I'm like, what? What he had in that bitch? You know it. I don't know. Ferrari, poor, everything you can get. Is that? At that time, everything that was available was there. <laughs> I'm a ghetto boy, so it took me three minutes to look. Look, like, damn. He I said swear. everything that was available. Everything that was available. Over, at that time, 100,000 was. I don't think they even had a hundred thousand. Hundred thousand dollars was the highest car you could possibly get. One fifty, maybe. I still did it. Well, no. Yeah. What you talking about? Yeah, I ain't got a bit yet. My car be like Zamba. Nah. Oh man, I'm crazy. Shout. He ain't heard about my van. He picked me up in a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> I had an Astro van. He picked me up in a ghost, a black ghost in DC. He I like. Swear. Had, I had white meat man. interior. I he he probably did. And my friends discouraged me to sell it. <laughs> he had a big picture of himself on the dash. That freaked me out. Like, I swear. You sold your ghost? Ooh, that one mine. That was for a video shoot. Oh. <laughs> yep, everybody thought of mine. I had so many people. Congratulations on your car. I'm like, well, that was so stupid. <laughs> I wonder if those stickers were in. Yeah, he even told me, he was like, hey man, I saw you got your ghost. I said, mm -hmm, that bitch gone too, man. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you never know with you, man. You being fucked around and bought one. Nah, I bought one for an investment, send it down there to Miami and let them niggas rent it out for a thousand dollars a day. Yeah. Then they stupid. Niggas just want to flex it in a day. Nigga want to get in there and sing the hook. Mm -hmm. He say sing the hook. You yeah. the whole PB line, what, what is it? The whole PBB line, whatever it is. Just gonna be in that bitch singing the hook with the top down. <laughs> I, bought, I, I ain't even gonna lie, I rented out a Lamborghini for, for like Sam Hung. A day? A day, but I, I, I kept it for like two, three days. Oh, Shit. Did I, I mean, nah. Did you pull any babes? No. Okay. It was too fast. It was waste. It was, it was too waste. fast. Really? The Lambo Lam was too fast. Every time I seen something, I was like, yeah, hey, god damn. Right. I got to drive all the way back now, nigga. <laughs> Fuck that bitch. <laughs> 700 a day, that ain't bad. No, I want 700 a day. I had it for 700 a day, but I used it for three days. I just felt like 700 was too much. Right. Well, I just need like two extra days. So you didn't know that you was going to have to pay for them other days? Who? Who paid for them? <laughs> uh, he, he wanted cash, brother. <laughs> oh, it was one of them dudes. Oh, yeah, man. I both rolled that motherfucker up, real, put some ones in it, <laughs> gave it to him. <laughs> And I was in a hurry. Damn, I don't even <laughs> I don't even know if we're gonna be able to play that part. You. Yes you can. Yes you can. That nigga be tell he be yeah, he know what's up, he hit me up all the time. Uh -huh. yeah, you know you're wrong with what you did. I'm like, what you talking about? <laughs> you done kept them for shit. <laughs> that's so awesome. too bad. That's a crazy rental car for you, man. Don't we all up. rent it. I think we all rent it. So. I had to get the zoom out of that bit. You bullshit. Yeah, you no nah, I ain't getting <laughs> nothing. The car too small anyway. Is it too, too close to the, to the ground? Damn, Mark, after hearing you tell that HBO story, I want HBO to start doing comedy specials again. That'd be fire. Yeah, I got two of them. Uh, with, with HBO? Two HBO specials. Back then, that was, that's like the mecca of yeah. specials. Oh, my God. The best of the best. 
Yeah, that shit put a lot of people out. Two HBO. Talk your shit. You on the road nah, with us and uh yeah, and yeah. Mike? Nigga, yeah, crazy. I'm on I'm on the road. <laughs> I'm just saying you do a good job. Oh, thank you, brother. What you, do? you ain't gonna steal it. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> you all right? <laughs> this nigga crazy, man. I'm on the road, yes, with you guys, and thank you. They're fire. Appreciate it. You you fire, man. Every time I get off stage, I always ask you what, what's what's up. What you seen up there? And I'm, just, tag. and I'm just coming out of his room because he he got good food. Okay, he got they got the catered food in his room. He had yams. Hey, I'm not, I be having like Mr. Good Balls and shit. <laughs> Peanut butter jelly sound. My room be empty as fuck. It be like three waters. <laughs> Uh, apple juice, two bags of chips, <laughs> four peppermints. That's where my mind. You know? I was like, who told y'all to get this shit? That's what was on your rider. But I don't have a rider. My thing is, I don't right think I, I'm not there that long. So I don't... Six Lucky Charm marshmallows, right. <laughs> two half bottles of water, two half bottles, an open bag of chips. Who the fuck said open them chips? <laughs> Dirty time. Man, we appreciate you for stopping through, OG, man. Yeah, that's real, man. You have all the old hunters in there. Oh, I remember, I remember. That's right. No, nah, man, you you really just came through and blazed and just did your motherfucking thing in the whole game and held it down. And shit, for you to still be out here rocking, man, that shit dope as fuck. I know. You want the OGs of the sitcom, man. You that's what I'm you saying. Say that, like, and I don't look at it like that. Yes, it is, I, man. And thing. you got a clean ass old school, too. Yeah, 72. Mm -hmm. 72 Plymouth. That's my dad's car. Yeah. I like them old schools. I'm going crazy. Old school, baby. Uh-huh. You know mm. mm. uh. <laughs> yeah, man. He's jumping on the ground. He's sliding in that bitch, man. Yo, it's dude. See, I, I grew up with the old school car. What's your favorite old school? Oh, you know, Plymouth. Because yeah, we grew up with Plymouths. And, you know, you know, I like a Plymouth. 72 Plymouth Mopar, baby. I gotta go to, mm, I gotta go to Chevelle or Skylark. Let's go, so, okay. Got to, that's one, that's, one that's one of my dreams. You gotta get a Chevelle, 69 Chevelle. But see, I, I always get the baby version of the Chevelle. It's like, I ain't get the Phantom, like I can't say you ain't get the Phantom, but you got the 300 Chrysler. So I ain't get the Chevelle, so I got the Chevrolet Nova. <laughs> I know. I know, but I gotta piece you know, it up. V8, you get 350. It got like a similar body to the Chevelle. No, mm -hmm. it's a baby body. Baby no, baby body. No, man, a bad car. Is that what you driving a Nova? I got a Nova. I'm finna, I'm finna, I'm finna, I'm finna have that been nice. Yeah. I'm finna yeah. put it on this. He did the color, right? I'm gonna get it. The orange, blue, the, the, what it is? Like the blue, orange, like the tank, what's the tangerine color? Tangerine. Like, like red, orange, a little bit. Okay. With the gold spokes on that motherfucker, right? Okay. With okay. the black leather T top. Okay. Whew. I guess you don't want to be seen. <laughs> but that's the only car that I'm, that I'm doing like that, that I'm fixing up. T tops and a Nova? No, 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 I'm keep, no, I ain't mean to say T-top, but a black, black leather top. I ain't, ain't gonna okay. have a T-top. It ain't gonna come like off. leather top? Yes, sir. Leather? Leather. Vinyl. Okay. Oh, I might do vinyl. vinyl. I might do vinyl. But vinyl, but leather and vinyl tops at the back in the you know 67, 68, that was the sport. That was the hot thing. Right. To do. Right. That's why I'm saying motherfucker got a like cause I got an 86 cutlass. Supreme. And 86? it got a level. T okay. it got a level top. Okay, okay, okay. All original. All original. All original. You got the T tops, what color interior? Uh it's 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 the, the light blue. Okay. The, the light blue with the with the with the with the, with the, with the uh, in them, yeah. When you, roll, when you roll the seats, you say, uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, the seats. Bucket seats. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. My my, I ain't got no no recliner, so I can just pull my seat down like that. Right, right. right. <laughs> <laughs> I can just put my seat down and you just get in there. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. Okay, I like to see you riding the old school. Most definitely. I'll put the wood grain in there, motherfucker. Oh yeah. I had to take the, the steering and I, I'm, I'm, I miss it though, but I put the wood grain in it. Give it I can't but see, I love wood grain, man. Yeah, it didn't come in the car though. I knew it. That's nah, the only thing I did. Nah, fuck it, Update it. Yeah. Fuck but, that. Original. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. uh -oh. You about to crank up. One original and one I'm just <laughs> waiting for my turn. No. <laughs> fuck it. Update every matter of fact, let me buy. Uh, a lot of that shit from back in the original shit wasn't safe, man. It should have kill you. Nah. Don't get, take that old ass shit off. Cause of you there. can't drive. Let me tell you something. I fucked up when I bought my old school, the old, the old mobile. I fucked up and put. I, I, I y'all, I got a box Chevy. Everybody was like, but y'all ain't got a Pontiac. You tripping? So I thought I had a box Chevy, but I bought a Pontiac. 
Pontiac. Yeah, that was the, uh, the classic. That was the classic. Well, that to you, that was the plan. That, that, but see, it was a Pontiac shape just like yeah, a box Chevy, though. What'd you say? But it wasn't a Pontiac. It wasn't a box Chevy. Nah, it got the same body, but. Box yeah, exactly. Chevy's a box Chevy. I know. We got you. Whoever got you, got no, you. No, I'm stupid. I, he knew he was selling a, a, a Pontiac. I just thought I would buy a box Chevy. I always thought it'd been that dude. <laughs> yeah, it's a box. Yeah, you want to be a box Chevy and show it? Come on, let's go. I can't say that shit, too. He yeah. saw it at night. Late night. <laughs> he wouldn't let you leave. Look, if you wanted to be a box Chevy, hey, it's a state of mind. Yeah. It's what you wanted to be. The car is whatever you see I in your... I'm going to show the car in the dark. It looked better than the dark. I'm going to show the pearl paint. He just... It, all the pictures was from the side. Now look, it looked like a box ship. He's showing you pictures of box ship. Man, this ain't no box ship. Don't it drive like a box ship? <laughs> Do it feel like a box ship? <laughs> DC threw him off. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you $50 more. What's shit? All right, young man. So you get the money. Man, this ain't no box ship. I never told you it was. <laughs> you said you were looking for one. I said I had something like a box shit. That's a bit right But the motherfucker don't even understand that I still call him classic. Yeah, this you don't understand. I know. I bought until I realized. The same way you thought it was a box shit, it was classic, classic to you. Classic Supreme. Yeah, color Supreme. Color you, color color. you like that. Okay. I'm good to see you like the most. Go ahead and take it out. Yeah. Got Disney here? What you got, Carl? What do I have? <laughs> what do I have? Let's break them down. <laughs> Man, if, I got a lot of them. Hey, boy, like them. Tell me. Uh, I'll just give you a few of my I'm favorites. Shit. Yeah. Once you tell me what type of car, I'm going to tell you what type of cars you like. I got a 69 Camaro. 69 Camaro. SS. Nice. Got a Grand National. Hold up. Grand National. Yeah. Whatever. Pontiac. I got a Trans Am. Trans Am. Corvette. 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 How old are you? Right, right. He's just telling you the, he got, the original, he, the forefathers got, of his cars. He got, he got all These cars. are the forefathers of my cars. He got, he they got, all have grandchildren. <laughs> <laughs> he likes, I know he likes Chevy. He likes he's a Chevy man. Yeah, he's a Mopar man. Yeah, yeah, Chevy man. Yeah, I got him. He grew him. up in the, uh, in the, uh, okay. in the 90s. Yeah, There's got a, 90s got a few Impalas and cars. things of that nature. Okay. What year do you want to go? 94? Cutlasses. 95? 96? 4 4 twos. <laughs> Okay, okay. All type of teams. Yeah, I'm a Mopar man. <laughs> yeah, I got a lot of shit. I got a time shit. capsule. You hear me? Everything. 4 4 is nice. Yeah, I got a few Oldsmobiles. Grand right. National's nice. Yeah. Man. I knew yeah. you was up to something when he bought that. A few G-bodies. When I bought my classic, let me tell you something, he liked motivation. When I bought that goddamn old school, he said, you like old schools. Nigga, boy, say it. He's like, you like old schools. Who the fuck is you? <laughs> that nigga, hey, that nigga, let me tell you something. That nigga bought a car every other week. He would pull up at, at Steve's studio and they said, come outside, I want to show you something. <laughs> That's right. That nigga bought a guy. But then how he did it, though, he pulled out the caddy first. He said, this is my Cadillac. I said, oh, yeah. that nigga really got a Cadillac. He like, oh, just a Cadillac. I got something for you. Every week he came with something. You wanna? I'm gonna go buy your dream car. Mm. Uh, yeah, I think you pulled up in that '96. Um, I had an '87 Broham. Okay, '87. Yeah. Broham. Okay. Yeah, Burgundy. man. Nah, it was blue. Blue on blue. Okay, I love the colors. Yeah, a few of them. I love them old Cadillacs I love, and shit. I love the old Caddies, too. I like the 60 Caddy. That's See them 60. the big boats. I'm big. Yeah, I realize I'm six foot six, you guys. Like yeah. Grand National. All the cars you talk about, I can't fit in. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. The vet, all of them, I can't They're fit good. in. They're good. more for me, finally. I, so, I need the big C-bikes. I go C-body. Okay. Big body. Mm. We're talking about cars, guys. Sorry about that. Oh. But, you know. Shit, women, too. I take them C-body. Come here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I C-body. You hear me? <laughs> C-body, C-body. Okay. She get naked. That's all you see is body. 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 <laughs> shit. I think my favorite, my favorite car that I got now, mm -hmm. that I put work into, is my 94 Impala. 94, okay. Yes, sir. 94 Impala. Still looking for El Camino, though. Mm, yeah. 
I thought you found one. I mean, man, nigga, I ain't want to sell it. You know how those niggas get, get, you know, they get all wet in the feet. Because your ass probably went over there bullshit. Pull up and buy that bitch. He like, man, I'm thinking about keeping it. This nigga, they see it go over there and just off the nigga whatever and walk off. Here you go, huh? Here you go 1200. Right, right. <laughs> Right, right. I mean, hey, right, he think just because he right. walked off that make the nigga be like, right. I hate when the nigga don't go for it though. Right. He be like, nigga, you might well pick your money. I'm like, oh, you serious? Oh, right, right. <laughs> yeah, 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 I think it's you, should do, you should do the auction. You guys should do the auction. I be trying. Nah, man, them it titles be fucked up. Nah, me. White people don't want you to don't nah, have no car. They nah, see you big, you don't over big. Oh, okay. Two thousand, twenty five hundred. Twenty six, twenty nine. Well, let me get the car. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> you paying cash, you'll get it cheap. Man, them white people in them. Forty, forty seven hundred. Yeah, like, they be overpriced and shit in there too, just cause they also they want to start it. Well, now that'd be the that'd tripping. be the seller who had to say, look, I need to make at least fifty eight hundred. One twenty five, one thirty five, fifty eight, fifty six, 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 See, but when I but when I be watching them car shows, I realize they just be pulling up in four yards. I'm like, that shit dangerous, bro. Just can't walk in a nigga yard and you be looking at his car. Oh, you, nigga be like, what the fuck wrong with you, man? Man, you been on TV you before, you know, goddamn well, they ain't just walking in nobody's yard and they come over there already mic'd up. Hey, what you doing there, Joe? <laughs> <laughs> hey! <laughs> they been at that man house at 7 o'clock that morning. Right, right. It's <laughs> 7 o'clock this morning. Hey, man, hilarious. I was just looking at your car. Well, hell, let me talk directly in this microphone so I can tell you that it's not for sale. <laughs> All right, stupid, so bro. before we shoot, we're just gonna make sure. Randy, could you come out? We're gonna. The car's not for sale. Could you, could you All right, shirt? let's. Uh, we're gonna reset the cameras, and then we're gonna flip, and then Randy, you can come in and tell them that it is for sale, and then we can. Uh, what'd you say? Forty-seven hundred. So we'll do that. And uh, Randy's already been paid, but we need to get him paid on camera. Right. Right. <laughs> and that's when the white dude, Gary from accounting, he's gonna come out and he's gonna bring you forty-seven right. one hundred dollar bills. <laughs> Guys, please make sure he gets all the money. We can't shut down until he gets right. every single bill back. Right. <laughs> all right, we're going to reset. We're going to flip the cameras back around so we can get Gary bringing out the money. Come on, man. Right, right. That's hilarious. Right. All right, that's a wrap on Gary, everybody. All right. right. Chuck going down the road. <laughs> that nigga is stupid. So they already mic'd up. Hey! Hey, we already have most of Gary's shots uh, shot. We just need you to do a couple in your stand-in, maybe two or three, and then we can just real wrap for you. You know what I've been watching, though? I've been watching that Fast and Loud lately. Yeah. I'm like, look at these folks street racing legally. I, I love the car shows. I love, I love, I love the old school cars. I'm yeah. just not starting to learn about the motors. I ain't no, I ain't no shit. You pop the hood, you be like, what's in here? I'm like, nigga. Yeah. An engine. Yeah. The fuck supposed to be in there? A timing belt or something? <laughs> Matching serial numbers. Right. Things like that. I'm learning so about you buying a car, you gotta make sure you you buying Matching serial numbers, if it's an SS, you know, you know, you know, gotta be the, the right color. It'd be a lot of clones, you know, and shit like that. Like, people just make shit look like shit. Yeah. Mm. As a true collector, mm -hmm. we're DOS. We're, you know, yeah. What you mean by serial number, though? You popping the hood doing what? Just making sure that it's <laughs> making sure that that's the original shit, if that's what they're telling you that you're buying. <clears throat> That engine come with that car. Yeah, and uh, if you look it up, it's gonna have the same. All the numbers will still be the same on there. I mean, if you gonna get an SS, get a low mile model SS. But nine times out of ten, they don't put something in that shit. Well, yeah, that's why you get this matching serial numbers. You buy it from a reputable person. Mm-hmm. But even if you about to, if you about to take the motor out anyway, well, damn, what's need, in it? But you don't need to take the motor out. You, you gotta. Well, you shouldn't buy some shit. Well, it's, it's up to you. I mean, right. it's really but your... You buy once that. you buy it, it's your shit. You can but do whatever you, you want to do. Nigga come by my car, he be like, man, you, what's the serial number? I'm like, man, you can get your bitch ass out of my yard, man. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> it's hot out here, bro. You want the car or not? You about to pop the hood and be taking for serial number? Is the serial numbers the same? I ain't your goddamn head, up, buddy. <laughs>
Definitely gonna check the serial numbers. You buy some shit from him. Yeah. Oh, dear. I told you I had an Astro van. That bitch was him. <laughs> still got the AC fit, but you can lay down in that. Bro, you gonna, now you're gonna make them think you still got the van because people still be hitting me. Hey, man, DC sold the van yet? I finally got the bread up. Man, the girl who I, who I sold it to, she thanked me all the time. Thank you. It's the best investment ever. I said, I said the same thing. That's <laughs> true, man. She probably just started a whole business out that damn van. Could have made an ice cream truck out that bitch. Uh, damn. DC Tours. Nah, I'm telling you. He was in here. <laughs> and, 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 now, if I'm, I'm gonna open up this armrest, and you gonna see he left a Reese's peanut butter bar. Sit in, you can see. That's his him. original candy. You know, make him tall. You know he's six five. Look at this. This, <laughs> this is the beat. Man, they had you playing ball on the show. Yeah. You played ball for real. You know, yeah. Then you play for the Golden State Warriors or something? You know, well, I wasn't a great ball player, I agree to say, but when we did the Golden State Warriors thing, that was incredible, guys. Here I am playing for the team that I grew up a block. I blew, people don't even know, I grew up a block from that Coliseum. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, so here I am playing for the Warriors. So you did it before Master P? Um, I think so. Okay. Maybe, maybe, okay. I don't know. So how long were you on the Warriors? Well, you know, uh, for a game. Just for one that game? That was the last cut. It was, was like a volunteer? When I came in, Spreewell was, was, me and Spreewell came in at the same time. That's what's up, man. For you, those of you who yeah. don't know Latrell Spreewell, that's the nigga that choked the coach. That's what he will forever be remembered as. But he was a dog ass he player. Was a great player. That nigga was a dog, but he, he choked the guy. shit out there, white man. <laughs> that white man should have never played with Latrell Spreewell. <laughs> he got his shit rocked. <laughs> Hell yeah. That was, it was incredible. How, how, how that came about for you to just play? Well, you know, on the show, I don't, you know, I really don't know how. Really they don't know how shit happened. Really. <laughs> well, because, you know, here I am, an actor, and, they, and they, this thing came to me. You know, they said, do you, you know, it, it wasn't that they, they didn't ask me that I want to play for oh, this episode. Oh, you playing for the Warriors. <laughs> <laughs> the nigga just going through like, man, how this shit happen? Nigga, I don't know, bro. <laughs> they, hey, bro, them niggas found me. Man, them yeah. niggas again away TV shows, and then them niggas are like, do you want that, one? Pick I mean, one of these ones you want. I mean, I'm you I'm sure it's me that you want? I mean, man, I, hey, man. bro, I told you, man. I'm about six six. You want to play in the NBA? Man, what time y'all start? Hey, I, I get up around ten. Okay. <laughs> man, I be sleeping about ten, y'all. What time that shit start, man? Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm not oh, getting shit. up to battle lap. Oh shit, bro. <laughs> no. Oh shit. They they me to play. Play. <laughs> oh, this nigga just doing comedy and they were like, we need this nigga in the NBA. And, that, and, that, and that's, 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 that's how it happened. <laughs> Suddenly, I'm in the NBA. Party All of a sudden, I'm bro. training camp. I'm trials. <laughs> and that's the truth. <laughs> Nigga wasn't in shape or nothing. He was smoking Ooh. weed, fucking with white bitches after the show. <laughs> bro, you want to be in the NBA? Man, what a time, man. You tell the truth. That's how it happened. That's how it happened. Oh, don't ever give up on your dreams, man. <laughs> that is funny, bro. That's how it happened. All these niggas been playing ball all their life. Man, get that comedian that's nigga, man. That's the weird part. That's the weird part. And that, that's, that's the weird part. That is funny, bro. Here these dudes in the NBA, and here I am playing with them in the NBA. Who the fuck was your agent? Ooh, your yeah. agent was a bad motherfucker. Well, was a dog, he just but... up at a party doing coke with some motherfuckers. Yeah. You know who you need? My fucking guy. <laughs> bro, he's a comedian. Bro, Bye. he's fucking 6'6. Six, six. You guys are 15 and 47. Bye. Hey, give him a shot. That was hilarious, hey, bro. Mark, what are you doing next Friday? 
<laughs> I'm supposed to be in Omaha. Fuck that. You're in the NBA now. <laughs> what the fuck you mean I'm in the NBA, bro? I want to do the funny bowl in the lab house. <laughs> fuck that, bro. You're a warrior. You're a small forward now. <laughs> So what's the contract talking about, bro? They're talking about 300,000. That's if you make the fucking practice team. <laughs> man, this nigga got the best life ever. Just like that nigga Mar Schultz nigga said, he went to sleep yeah, and woke up and he was 6'9". But that was funny. <laughs> you don't know how that shit starts. You don't know how shit starts. No, it, it, checking out the first practice. I get there. I'm late because they, they, won't, they won't let me in. Because you didn't even tell you no. what time they were starting. No, what time they, NBA starts? No, they wouldn't let me in. Curry, <laughs> you're late on the first day? Hey, man, fuck y'all. I was in Cleveland this weekend. I got my dick sucked. I had six shows. Sold out, too. <laughs> I don't got time for all this fucking running and shit, man. Y'all don't look at a natural talent when you see it. <laughs> yeah, nigga, that's retarded, bro. Wait a minute. They wouldn't let me in because bro. they didn't know who I was. Exactly. But wait a minute, wait a minute. Hey, look through that nigga since the door like, ain't you that comedian, nigga? <laughs> I'm supposed to be here. That's true. That's true. Hold on, bro. Hold on. Hey, man, you say he's supposed to be here. Let me. It's cold out here. And that's just and that's, that's just what was going on. I was like, man, come on. Well, First funny. NBA practice, I walk in. Ten minutes late. Coach Nelson, <laughs> Coach Don Nelson, <laughs> other coach, Coach Popovich was assistant coach. No. And, wait a minute. I walk Popovich? in. Popovich was my was my assistant. That's crazy. So, I walk in late, and you know. Coach, it's legends on the court. This legend is is it's legends on the court. Who Larry Bird? Already. And so, no, uh, Tim Hardaway. Oh. Mullen. Ooh. And so I walk on and I'm late and comes and say, oh, hey, what's up, Hollywood? All right, I see you got here when you wanted. Come up here to the top of the key. He says it's like this. Take this shot, top of the key. If you miss, the whole team run and you don't run. And you know, so take this shot. If you make it, you know, it's cool. I'm like, this is the first, first NBA practice. You talking about as soon as they let you in the building, you late and you got to shoot. I'm late. I go get taped up and I walk in, you know, you know, do they talking. Oh, look at this. It's true. I walk in, bam, and he gives me this proposition. Shoot from the top of the key if you miss it. And all the players are like, man, you better not miss it, homeboy. I was, this is the first time ever even seeing these dudes. Dang. So, boom. You missed it. <laughs> Reminder, I made it. Yo! Thank you, Charles. Talk your shit. Talk your shit. Just talk my shit. I made it, thank God. Man. That was one shot that I went and yeah. I'm glad I made. Shit. Isn't that crazy? I know I would have missed That is the wildest <laughs> shit ever. <laughs> it came out your the agent at this time. Yeah, exactly. It, it was like motherfucking. It. And that's, that's the wildest. Sushi with Eddie Murphy. <laughs> <laughs> NBA Eddie at now. 10 o'clock. You don't know. Nigga woke up with it. Oh, what y'all know? Hey, Mark, man. Get here. Are you still coming out to Omaha? <laughs> nah, bro, you know I'm doing this NBA shit right now. <laughs> are you fucking serious, Mark? I'm about to hit with mother right now. Ah. Look, do you want me to take you off the flyer or no? <laughs> hold on, hold on, man. Let me see. Let me see what we do against the Bulls. <laughs> <laughs> That's the truth. Can you imagine calling your agent as a comedian? Hey, man, hold my dates. I think they're finna let me go. <laughs> I think I'm hold my dates. <laughs> nah, we, we got three more home games. It's, we got Chicago, Utah. <laughs> You gotta play fucking, you gotta play Indiana. You know what I But see, when I, when I did it, I didn't look at it like that. I really didn't realize what I was doing. You say, hold my day. I think they feel gonna let me go. And the funny thing about oh, it, people, man, when he talking man, about it, bro, happened. That's what, that was it. And you know, doing. promoters didn't want to hear that shit. So, so y'all still coming in town, right? What's happening to the game? <laughs> Cause we can do a daytime show. <laughs> oh, y'all play at two o'clock. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> you want to try to do something at 11? <laughs> what time you got to be at the arena? <laughs> How about this? How about we do a 10 o'clock brunch? Yeah, that's two. <laughs> Doors open at 8 o'clock. <laughs> yeah, everybody who got their ticket, we just changed it. You ain't got to buy no new ticket. No. <laughs> Damn, man. Y'all yeah, niggas got to perspective. Y'all niggas, you get to see that's the that's the height of the comedy game, man. Like that type of shit is gone. We ain't never gonna get that. It was for one game. That was one game. It was just like experience. I scored on Charles Barkley, so I can say that. Fadeaway jumper for Charles Barkley. At least I can say I scored. I did miss my first one. I was so nervous, you know. I came around on the screen, and man, I, I missed everything. I was nervous. Was Charles nervous. Barkley gonna see this and was like, nigga, I was walking off the see, court. See, I remember, <laughs> well, see, what I remember with Mark Curry was, he did a little fight, I wasn't even defending him. I, I was, <laughs> see, I got it, he was defending me. <laughs> they called time out and I was walking off the goddamn court. That <laughs> nigga gonna be on EFN talking about your ass. Yeah. That's crazy. I heard Mark Curry He's on like some 85 say. show show. Like, what the fuck you I'm so happy. I'm, I'm so happy. They were talking about defending on me. Get your ass up. Man, OG, now that's a story to tell, though. That's a story to tell. That's, that's a really tripped off of it, really. That's the experience. If I can score with Michael Jordan, man, I'm telling this shit every day. But just a score in the NBA. Right. One point. That's you got a one stat. Point in the NBA. You got a and stat. You know, I, 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 I'm going to say, oh, you know who was in the game? Danny Ainge. Shit. Uh, <clears throat> Danny Ainge, Kevin Johnson, Charles Barkley. Yeah, Danny, yeah. It was, I remember Danny Ainge, because, you know, I was guarding Danny Ainge. I was like, damn, I'm guarding Danny Ainge. <laughs> you know? I was just at the Funny Bone last week. Yeah, that, that's the funny. <laughs> he, telling, he telling the truth, you got. He know he's telling the truth, what he's that's talking cool. about. That's crazy. Because I was, you know, I was doing clubs on weekends. You, I never thought mm. the next time I'm in the NBA. <laughs> I never, I never looked, saw that perspective. So when, so, so, so when they say we don't need you tomorrow, you like, damn, what the fuck, what y'all bring me here for? Well, no, I mean, you know, I knew, you know, I, I wasn't an NBA player. First time I ran down the court with the guys, you guys, these dudes are so fast. Exactly. So big and so, <clears throat> I mean, Tyrone Hill, I went up for a layup. He took my boom, threw my thing to the maybe 10th row or something. Shit. And these dudes, uh, they were incredible. And respect that game. That game. Was, so it was so fast. First time I played in the NBA, I thought I, thought I pulled the muscle. I was like, did I, I didn't want to come out. I was like, damn, this fucking world. One time down, I'm like, damn. NBA. But then I let the funny ball next to me. <laughs> <laughs> so, do so, you want to add a second show? <laughs> hey, hey, you know what would be crazy? If we do an after party and you wear like the warm up shit. <laughs> yeah! Bro, I'm telling you, that shit gonna go stupid, man. That nigga is retarded, bro. He said, hold my date. I did that about let me go. <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny. That's so funny. That's man. See, those stories that people need to know, bruh. Yeah. Like, real talk, bruh. Yeah. That's real life shit. Man, that's a hell of a... Uh, that, I always feel good when niggas hoop dreams then came true. Because right. every nigga had some, and it's just like, even if it was one game or a hundred or... Yeah. She it still came th true. To be in that motherfucker, right. your, come on, give me some. Your shit came. Yeah. Your shit got to come all true. All my dreams, you know, be honest with you, all my <clears throat> dreams that I dreamed came, you know, true. Yeah. And that's the crazy thing. You know, the power of the Lord and praying, and staying. You know, all my dreams came true. You guys, everything I, that I even wanted to do, that I ever wanted, uh, you know, wanted, to, you know, you know, and some of these dreams are so far fetched. You got to write one of them self-help books if that's the case, bro. Yeah, yeah you got to let yeah. people know your journey. Yeah. Cause they're, yeah, Mark yeah. Kirk, how to make your dreams come yeah, true. Yeah, right. Cause, make that. Because my ghetto, I'm a ghetto boy coming. We used to sneak into the Coliseum. <clears throat> and here I am playing, you know. Right. You know I, I, I kept, matter of fact, during the, when they had the All-Star game in Oakland, that's just, I wanted to see if I still had it. I snuck in the Coliseum. 
<laughs> Even though I had tickets. <laughs> I said right next to John Thompson, rest his soul, doing the dunk contest. Still get a... a John Thompson was sitting there. It was an ESPN press thing. I came and took that. Put that I'm put glad that you set. did. Because it would have... What if they would been like, Sir, sir, you're yeah. not supposed to be back here. Uh, I no, I used, I used to play for them. And, no. uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm a comedian, but I, 95. Right, 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 95. Let's go, don't choke. That's good. Damn, OG. I appreciate you for blessing our, our presence, man. Thank you. Hey, man, we fuck with you the long way. Keep doing your motherfucking thing, because clearly you are one of God's favorite people, man. Come on, let the, let the world know yeah, what's going tell on. Tell them, the real Mark Curry on Instagram. Tell them, you say it. The real, the real Mark Curry on Instagram. The real Mark Curry on Instagram. You did. The fake Mark Curry gonna be like, God damn. <laughs> making it hard for a nigga to scam these days, boy. I tell you. I love it. This is great. No, man. This is the 85 South Show. We out this day. Yeah. 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 Let's shoot a photo. Shoot the photo, Thad. Get the pic. Oh, yeah. We getting it. Let me get this. Let me get it. 85 South. Literally in two episodes. We in the trap with it. That's right. OG, what's poppin' with it, baby? Fuck you, me. Yeah, right. You ready? Take the picture. That shit was so funny, man.